Naval War Arctic Circle is the new upcoming real-time strategy game published by Paradox Interactive and developed by TurboTape Games. Naval War Arctic Circle is a real-time strategy game where the player battles enemy naval and aerial forces for power and ultimate world domination. The gameplay takes place along the Norwegian and British coast, through Iceland and Greenland, all the way to the North Americas and the Northwest Passage. Naval War Arctic Circle has an extensive campaign along with skirmish, land, and online modes. In Arctic Circle, the factions include the United States, the Russian Federation, the Nordic countries, and NATO. Ultimately, Naval War Arctic Circle tells the story about a power struggle for the control of the world's resources and supply lines in the polar regions. It's nice to finally have a modern naval warfare strategy game, as we really haven't seen many since the Jane series of games. The game plays out as a sort of cat and mouse strategy game. You're constantly trying to not overextend yourself while finding your enemy. The smart use of units and sensors is a required skill that will take a bit of practice. You can use active and passive sensors on all your units with varying ranges and abilities in regards to the types of units it can detect. You will have ships and aircraft including both helicopters and planes, and even submarines as you try to outsmart and outmaneuver your enemy. The game will feature two campaign modes telling the narrative from the Russian and NATO sides of the conflict. There are some tutorials in the current preview build of the game, but hopefully they are expanded a bit by final release as you really need to get a bit more information to get comfortable with the game mechanics in a game that has so many features. The game will, as stated earlier, have both online play through local area network as well as over the internet. This should provide some intense matches for fellow fleet commanders as they hunt for each other across the vast maps featured within the game. Another feature that has been discussed by the developers a good bit is the realistic weather model that the game features. Being that the game is centered around the cold seas of the Arctic Circle, weather as you might imagine will play a significant role within the game. It will affect the ability of your sensors and weapons while trying to react to your enemy's movement and attacks. The game really is different as well when it comes to combat. The game focuses on detection and evasion tactics to try to make the game more of a strategic game based on stealth rather than on head-on tactical battles. You're really not going to fight with huge armies and just throw them into the mix head-to-head uh, -head and, and try to you know, power your way through. This game is all about tactics, maneuvering, and stealth, really, in regards to your sensor abilities and finding the enemy and attacking before they find you. You are also generally fighting with a smaller force than most RTS games out there. You will usually only have a handful of ships with a few dozen aircraft at your disposal. Of course, those aircraft are limited in range due to fuel consumption and also weapon loadout. They can't just stay out there forever, so all this has to be taken into account as the scenario advances. All the units in the game are based off of real-world vessels and aircraft. The names have been changed and a few are experimental units, but overall the realism factor is right on point. Due to the various units, the combat has a real vertical feel to it as well. You'll be fighting from the heights of the flying aircraft to the depths of the sneaking submarines. The game is played in real time. You can't pause it, though the lowest speed is pretty slow so you have more than enough time to adjust your battle plans. Then once you're set, you can speed the game up to get your units to the target areas faster. Make no mistake, this game is heavy on tactics and will attract a very specific crowd. There is a following for this type of game, however, and since there really has not been many offerings within this subject matter for quite a while, it should be eagerly awaited on by many strategy gamers. Naval War Arctic Circle is set for a second quarter 2012 release. Check back with Noobfeeb for more information as the game gets closer to launch.